Tonight, community members got to hear from the candidates running for the Charleston County School Board of Trustees this year. Our own Raphael James moderated the event. It was seven of the 10 candidates on the ballot were there to participate in the forum from school districts two, four, six, and eight. Well, our Carly Baker joins us live from the Charleston County School District building downtown. Carly, tell us more about what the CCSD school board elections will actually look like this year. Justin, Michael, the board is made up of nine single member districts, but in 2022 changes resulted in those running for odd number districts serving four year terms and those running for even number districts serving two year terms. Starting with this election, all seats will now serve four year terms. The candidates that came out to the forum include Ed Kelly running for District 2, Kevin Hollinshed and Craig Logan running for District 4, Darren Lee Calhoun running for District 6, and Darlene Dunmire Roberson, Michelle Faust and Charles Glover running for District 8. The candidates were all given a minute and a half to answer questions about various topics like book bans, poverty in schools and employee recruitment and retention. With election day less than a month away, block voting was high on the list. And that's when voters cast their ballots for candidates as a block instead of choosing individual candidates from different groups. Holland Shed said that he was running independently and that the organizations that do participate in the block voting focus on the money. I'm, I'm independent. I represent you. I don't represent any cliques. Every time you deal with these people that come out with packs, look at the bottom line. This is the one billion dollar organization and they're trying to get their hands on the money. Kelly said that it was human nature for people who have similar interests to tend to come together. It takes a, uh, a majority of votes to accomplish things. And so if you have like minded folks who all are voted by individual uh, voters across the entire county, and the county decides as a, as a voter block, democratically speaking, that they want that type of person to be making decisions for their school system, then absolutely it makes sense to run as a block. Logan said that he believed it was important to have like minded people on the board as long as the mission stands to support their students and staff. It has been a very politicized board and it has become a very political issue that oftentimes takes away from putting children and educators first. Calhoun said voting as a block has caused issues with the board. Voting as a block, that is what has been tearing up this board as, a, as we are here right now, without looking at all the information that we have. What we know is best for the students, yet coming out and doing something different. Dunmire Roberson said that she will come out of board discussions thinking that all of the board members are on the same page, but that when it's time to vote, there is a block vote, saying that it is dangerous. You may have served on boards and you may have seen other boards, but until you have served on a board with Moms for Liberty, you've not served like we have. This has been extremely difficult. Um, we try to work across um, the aisles. We try to keep our students centered. We try to make sure we make informed decisions. Foss said she believes when the school board changed to single member districts, this is what caused a lot of the political endorsements. I believe the school board membership should be, the school board race should be nonpartisan, and that two years ago when we moved to single member districts, that contributed to having to put Republican endorsements and Democratic endorsements in the school board race. Glover said he doesn't want to get caught up in being endorsed by any organization, saying that those groups can feel that they have the power to tell you what they want you to do or what to vote for. And the leadership of a true person, then they would vote for the person that taking care of them or supporting their needs or making sure that things are being done in their district as somebody that they can count on that's somebody that's being bought out. You can find more information about the upcoming school board election on our website at life5news.com. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Carly Baker, Life 5 News.